بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما النقل عليم الحكيم My topic today is about pediatric intersubsection Pediatric intersubsection is a most common cause of intestinal obstruction between 3 months and 6 years of age and about 60% of patients are younger than 1 year. 80% of cases occur between 24 months and it is rare in neonate and incidence is about 1 to 4 per 1000 life births. Male is more common in than female in a ratio of 4 to 1. Patient presented with a sudden onset with severe paroxysmal colicky pain that requires a frequent interval and it is accompanied by straining effort with bar with legs and knees flexed and loud crisis. Vomiting is most cases, in most cases, usually more frequent and early presentation. In later phase, the vomitus become bite stained. Stool become In the early stage, it is normal, but in the late stage, it is current GD stool. A blood generally burst in first 12 hours, but times not maybe one to two days. 60% of infant burst stool containing red blood and the mucus called current GD stool. Some Patients have only irritability and alternated with progressive lethargy. Shock like state may develop with an elevation of the blood temperature as high as 41 degrees. What are the radiological signs of intersubsorption? We have some signs and we will discuss some of them and with some examples. We should keep in mind that the blame film is cannot be used to rule out intersubsorption. Crescent sign it is caused by intersubsorbing intersubsorbing leading point intruding into a gas-filled pocket. If the pocket is large, it may, may not be a crescent shape. Direction of the crescent always points to the, direc to the direction of the normal colon transit. Here we see patient with intersubsorption and this is the crescent sign and this is the crescent sign of air here and in the proximal colon and also we see soft tissue mass in this area. Here another patient with the crescent sign and as we said the, this is the the points to the normal transit of the colon. Another patient with a crescent looks like a crescent sign with soft tissue mass in the in the hepatic flexure. Target sign we see a mass in the right upper quadrant sometimes does not have target appearance may just resemble solid mass. See the kidney sign because it may have the shape 
of an oval mass in the right upper quadrant. Here, as we said, we have the crescent sign and we have mass in the right upper quadrant looks like a target. Here, this is the target sign on ultrasound trans transverse of an intersubsorption. The crescentric layers of the mass represent different tissues. In the bowel wall of the intersubtum and intersubians, the curved echogenic here, the curved echogenic area, it is due to mesenteric fat, it trapped mesenteric fat. Absent liver edge sign, fail to see the inferior edge of the liver, and it is caused by mass in the right upper quadrant silhouetting the liver. Here we see mass in the right upper quadrant silhouetting the liver and obscuring the liver edge. Also, we see here a good example of the equivalent sign. Here we have a mass in the right upper quadrant with obscuring the liver edge in a child with intersubsorption with possible crescent sign here. Patient can present also with bowel obstruction as we see here in the sentinel law followed up X-ray Positive of gas, bowel, and multiple air fluid levels indicating bowel obstruction. Here we see longitudinal ultrasound of intersubsorption demonstrating diff different layers, looks like a sandwich, and we call it sandwich sign. And here, as we said, and uh, sometimes the target sign may be not appear as a target. And here we see longitudinal ultrasound of intersubsorption forming looks like pseudo kidney sign, and it trapped mesentery in the central echogenic area resemble fat resemble fat in the renal sinus. And here the meniscus sign of intersubsorption in the hepatic flexure in this barium enema. And here covering and coiled spring appearance of the intersubsorption at hepatic flexure. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.